Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, let's hop into it. Um, top energy, that's going to be for a romantic love. That's going to be for somebody um, you're currently connected with, a twin flame. This can be somebody you're already committed to. But it's, it tends to be a person from the past or somebody that's been a long-term connection. It's a connection you can't explain, right? This bottom energy is anyone that's single um, or dating, or this is somebody new that's coming in your life. Alrighty then, Cancer, let's hop into this. How does Cancer view the romantic situation with this top energy? How does Cancer view their current romantic situation? This top, ooh, what did I say? Twin flame. Okay. So that's a pretty interesting card, right? Twin flame is here. Let me see if these guys are going to show at the bottom. Okay. So we have the sun, beautiful, or the six, six of cups, the eight of pentacles, and the moon. It's funny because both of these have to do with self, right? If you think about it, the six of cups, that's Scorpio sun. Um, the eight of pentacles, that is um, Virgo sun. It's pretty interesting. All right, let's hop into it. I think definitely right now there is a twin flame connection that you feel very strongly. I don't think that this is something that you can kind of like kick to the side and pretend like it's not there, right? There's only so long you can pretend before it's acknowledging that there is some type of legit serious connection between you and this person. I think that this is somebody from your past, possibly even childhood, or somebody that you've been dealing with for a period of time. I think that there's some type of reconciliation, or even if you guys have not have not completely got together or recon reconciliated late, like recently, you feel like that is a potential for it to come, right? And I think right now you've been working on yourself. Your person has been working on yourself. There's something here where you and your person are working out the kinks. But I don't feel like it's working out the kinks together. I feel like it's working out the kinks separately. So if there are some issues that you need to address, you're addressing those issues. If there's some issues that this person needs to address, they're addressing it, right? And I definitely feel like some of this is, is hard work. And this even can be potentially like physical manual labor. Um, but ultimately, no matter how far you and this person divide, there's always something that's going to bring you guys back together, especially with the nine of wands, right? And for some reason right now, I feel like you both have not let one another go, but I don't feel like you're currently in a committed relationship or a situation, but it's known, right? It's like, you already know what it is. Three more, three more uh, cards, please, for how Cancer views their current romantic situation with this person. Okay, Knight of Swords, there's, there's Gemini Taurus energy, Page of Wands, and the Magician. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Here's what I think, honestly. I feel like there's starting to be a level of communication. And, and, and I don't know if you've had dreams, possibly. I don't know why I get that. But there may be some type of dreams that are coming in play here where you feel something. It's like you almost know that there is some type of adjustment or alignment that's happening behind the scenes that's separating you and this person away from the conflict. It's also... Um, overcoming any type of dark energy, overcoming anything that's light. And with the nine of wands here as well, that's moon in um, Sagittarius. The thing about this is like, it's not the end. It's just a pause before everything kind of comes to a conclusion. And I feel like this is a time where you're thinking, but you're also thinking together as one. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what they're saying to me. I also feel like there's going to be a burst of a level of action here, um, page of wands, right? There's going to be some type of good news that comes in a message. I want to see you. And I feel like it's something that you've definitely manifested. This is something that has the potential to go far. And I think that it's because you've really focused on what you wanted, right? Uh, mercury energy, there's communication coming in that maybe wasn't there during this record retrograde mercury retrograde. And now that we're out of it, it's almost like people can think clearly can see clearly, there's huge changes with what the heart wants. And I feel that strongly. And I feel like there's a very raw type of energy here between you and this person. 
What about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? How does Gemini feel about their current romantic situation with this bottom energy or this newer energy? I said Gemini. My bad. Hold on. I was looking at that. How does Cancer feel about this current energy with this newer person? How does Cancer feel about this energy with this newer person? Page of Cups. Beautiful. Three of Cups. Definitely your energy. Queen of Cups. Okay. And Justice. Amazing. I feel like things right now are moving in the right direction. And for some of you guys, if you're like, I'm only focused on this top person, then this may be a different phase of your relationship. I'm going to be honest, or this can be genuinely a, a brand new person. I feel like there was, there, there is, or there has been recently or coming up within the next couple of days, some type of surprise communication that makes you happy, right? It's almost like a reunion. It's bringing you back together with this three of um, cups here. That's Mercury and Cancer, right? There's some type of growth here. And I feel like it's, it's, it's almost like you're over that initial phase, right? That talking phase, that trying to balance things out. And I feel like now you're in a place where you and this person are having a conversation over what's the right thing to do, right? Where do we go from here? And based on this, there's a lot of emotions involved. And I feel like even with all the emotions, there's something here that's balanced, especially with justice. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with some type of court situation with the law where you're fighting for some type of, um, I don't know, whether it's fighting for, you know, your child or going through a divorce. I feel like this is going to end very well for you guys. And I feel like you, you sense that this person balances you out extremely. I also feel like too, with as many cups here, I feel like you're finally feeling like a level of harmony emotionally. I don't know why I get that, but I just feel like you feel whole. There's something here with this person that's making you feel whole. Even if you and this person are complete opposites, it's like you're merging together as one. And I feel like with this, it's like you need this. Even if this is a little bit unbalanced, you feel like it's balanced. Three more cards here for how Cancer views their current romantic situation with this person. Look, Ace of Cups, it's a brand new start. Um, maybe you had to make a decision between who you wanted. Um, but nonetheless, this is this is this is an opportunity, right? This is an opportunity. You can do what you want with it. You can either take time to think about whether or not you want this or that. But at the end of the day, ultimately it's up to you with what you want to do with this. Do you want to take it and make something? Because there is a strong potential here with this raw energy to do and to create and to manifest what you want. At the same point in time, I do feel like you guys are kind of stuck. You guys are going back and forth, especially with, again, Moon and Libra. It's like there's some type of decision that you, that you need to make or your person needs to make that's stalling the connection. Like, I feel like there's something here that somebody has to walk away from in order for you and this person to have that perfect union. And it can be a marriage. It can be a serious commitment. But there's definitely something here that's halting that connection for sure. But it's there, right? The emotions are there. Everything is there waiting for it to take off. How does um, this person, this top energy, how do they feel about cancer romantically? How does this top energy? Okay. Knight of Cups. The moon, the ace of pentacles, and the hermit. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like this person, you may not know how much they truly love you. I, I don't think that you realize everything that you are to this person because I think that this person, they have a hard time expressing their emotions. They have a hard time allowing you inside. I think that there's something here where they hide it. They hide everything that they're feeling because it, th there is something here where this person is scared. This person is scared to see what's to come, right? I, I think that this is something that they've never dealt with before. Knight of Cups and the Moon, right? It's heavy um, Pisces energy. It's heavy Cancer energy. Um, that's what I'm coming in strongly. You could even have um, Aquarius energy as well, but I'm more so picking up on Pisces and um, Cancer energy. 
I think also too, you're somebody that, that was able to shine a light on an aspect of them that I think has been hidden for a period of time, 100% with that moon, right? It's like, you're showing this person what love could be. You're showing this person what it means to be supported to its fullest. I always say, if you want somebody to love you unconditionally through and through, get your ass a cancer, right? Cancers have the ability to love like no other. You guys are the, the pure nurturers. Like I will go head to head with anybody that wants to tell me that a cancer is not somebody that's gonna love you to like the depths of hell. All aspects, I feel like you love this person. Good, bad, or indifferent, it's like you're there for them. I definitely feel like this person also with this Ace of Pentacles, they trust you, right? There is a level of trust here between you and them. And I feel like there is some type of secret offer that they want to make you. But I think that there's a period of time here where they really needed to take some time away from you and figure out, hey, is this what I want? Is this what's right for me, right? And it's funny because the moon is a nine and the hermit is a nine, right? And again, I feel like with this nine energy, it's complete, but it's not completely complete, right? It, this is some type of transitional period that you and this person are in where you're nearing the end, right? And I feel like there may be some type of plateau here between you and them where it's, it's some type of um, transitional state versus like going the finish line. Like, you may feel like right now there's a pause, like, okay, everything was great. And now all of a sudden nothing is happening. But the reason for that is it's a pause before everything is finalized, right? Everything is coming to a head here. And I think that it's really beautiful, honestly, and in, in, in my opinion, because the hermit, what does a hermit go to? The hermit goes to the, um, the wheel of fortune. So things are changing, but I think that before things can change, there has to be this this level of silence between you and them. How does this bottom energy feel romantically about cancer? How does this bottom energy feel romantically about cancer? Okay. Strength, judgment, three of wands, hierophant. I'm going to be honest. I feel like first things first, we have three, three major arcana here, right? I think that they're waiting for some type of movement with you, right? Um, I'm getting that very strongly, especially with the three and the five, right? The three of wands and the hierophant. It's like they're waiting to receive some type of confirmation here. And I think that they know that you're taking a look at your life and you're looking for a deeper reason, a spiritual reason. I think that they know that. And I think that they feel like you were put into their life for a reason, nonetheless, to change, to create change, to do something bigger than I think what, what you feel. And I feel like this person knows that when you stepped into their life, it was like a what the hell moment, right? It's like, if you're somebody that's lived in the dark forever and you're brought to the light, your immediate reaction is to go back to the dark. The reason for that is because the light is something that's unknown and people do not like what is not known. And I think with this person, you've called them out of some type of really dark area. I think that they feel like you're very strong. You're very protective. You're very focused. You know what you want. I think that they find you extremely attractive. It's a lot of Leo energy. Some of you may have heavy Leo in your chart or you may be like a Leo cancer cusp. But there's something big here with this Pluto energy that you've impacted in their life nonetheless. And I feel like it's what they really want, what they really want to take a level of action on. And I feel like it is a true commitment here. Beautiful. Cancer, yeah, so this reading is hella good. Like, super good. Amazing. What's currently blocking this romantic situation between Cancer and their person? Okay. Somebody can be working or the fact that somebody's just not single. This also can be um, the fact that they have a lot of moving parts, especially with their job or their career. Or it could be just simply the fact that somebody isn't completely single.
I feel like it's ending the single, to be honest. And I feel like this person has a hard time with their emotions. Straight up. I think that they're falling in love with you. I think that this person is a hopeless romantic. But I also feel like if you take a look at this card, their emotions are completely bottled up. These emotions haven't been said yet. And I feel like there's definitely a lot that's about to come out of them emotionally. But I feel like they have to end this this cold exterior, right? They have to end the, oh, I, I'm only business, right? It's very much like it's business first. And some of you guys may even work with one another. How would this make, why, why is the two of cups, page of cups here? And I definitely feel like something has to change. There's an ending that has to take place, whether it's with another person, whether it's with ending their single life, in order for you and them to be together. Why is it two of cups, page of cups here for, for what's the block? For some of you guys, I feel like there's somebody that's meddling in your relationship. It can be a mother or father of a child. Primarily a woman, if you want me to be honest. Somebody may also be pregnant. How would this make cancer feel? The Ten of Cups. With the Five of Swords. How would this make cancer feel if they knew why the Two of Cups... Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Magician, and Empress were here. How would, how would this make Cancer feel emotionally? The Hermit, the Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. How would Cancer want to move forward with this person? I'll tell you what I see. You'd want to take action. This is a block. I just feel like this person doesn't love themselves. I feel like they've never had a level of love. I think that it's confusing to them. I think that there's somebody here that's, that's being a puppet master, if you want me to be honest, with, with the magician here. There's something, it's like this person is trying to eliminate all of the other issues with inside of your relationship that would stop you and them from moving forward. A child may also be an issue, children. They may be struggling with moving on due to children. And I also feel like there's something that they need to express to you because, and it may be that they do have somebody pregnant for some of you guys, but that they've not told you, but some of you already know what it is. I feel like they have all the tools to move forward and do the right thing, but it's like, they don't know why they, they don't know the why behind it. It's like they have the tools to complete it, but they don't know what the purpose is of the relationship. What about this bottom energy? Also too, it's loving yourself. It's putting yourself first, Cancer. I think that that's the number one issue with Cancer is that you guys give to everybody where then when it comes to you, there's nothing left. You don't demand somebody to give you the same love that you give back. It's, it's almost, I feel like it's almost automatically assumed that when it, with a cancer, you guys give all, you always give. So by the end of the day, it's like you're tired because nobody gives you back what you're putting into it. And that is draining. That is stressful. And I think that it starts with loving yourself first, having enough love for yourself to say, Hey, this is what I deserve. This is what I want. And really stepping into this Empress energy, because how I'm also reading it for some of you guys the Empress is a receiver. The Empress is not the giver. The Empress receives the love. It's almost like somebody needs to step into this feminine energy and stop being the one to always do everything and allow this person to lead. What about this bottom energy? What's blocking this bottom energy in Cancer romantically? Okay, lust. Somebody may be uh, always on the go. They may be traveling for work. It may be a very sexual relationship. Hot and cold. This person down here, I feel like they're a lover, right? But they're a lover of many. And I feel like there's a lot of impulsive actions on their part when it comes to sex and romance and intimacy. And I feel like during these times when it's, it's like almost like I feel like for some of you guys, you're intimate and then they go quiet for a period of time and then boom, they're back. It's like there's some type of flux with that. It's a block. 
for these two. Ace of Pentacles, the moon, and judgment. Again, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles and the moon, there's a decision that has to be made. Are they going to be consistent? Are they going to offer you a legit relationship or are they not? Are they going to keep hiding? There's something here that needs to be said in order to cut the illusions away because I feel like with this person, there's illusions, but there's no pentacles here. There's nothing solid here. That's why this is an issue. Making the right offer in order to nurture and water the connection into a solid foundation, right? I like the Ace of Cups, but I don't like it as much as I like the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is somebody that wants to build with you. And I feel like this person has not made a decision yet with whether or not they want a solid commitment or if they just want something very sexual, very passionate, you know, that type of energy. And I do think you guys have great chemistry, but at the same time, chemistry doesn't create stability. In Cancer, you need stability, especially emotionally and physically. All right, what's this top energy's overall romantic intentions with Cancer? What's this top energy's overall romantic intentions with Cancer? Okay, Page of Pentacles, the Star, wow, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. I feel like this person wants to go slow with you or your relationship has been moving not as quick as I think you would want it to move. Um, I also think too, there's a newer aspect that's starting to this relationship or that's coming into the relationship. And I feel like this person, what they want is they do want a level of control here. And I do feel like they're going to work on making sure that they don't lose you. That's something that's coming in completely because I feel like this person views you as somebody that's um, incomparable, right? I don't think that they've ever met somebody like you that makes them feel the way that you do. Like you're somebody that they can never replace. There's something very special about you. And I think that they know that. And I think that they, they have a level of faith here that they're going to be able to heal whatever the situation is, because I definitely feel like they want a commitment here. You've changed them. You've healed them. There's something here, Cancer. I don't know why, but I keep hearing like there's a level of healing. There's some type of rebirth that they want with you because of the changes that you've made with them. And I feel like this is emotional change, right? And I think that growth with this person, it comes in different forms. And when you least expect it, the star, there's something very special here about the connection. And I think that they know that. I think that they may have taken a period to shut down to really figure out what it feels like to be without you, but I definitely feel like they choose you at the end of the day. And I think that with the five here, they know that there has to be a level of movement. I think that they had to take a look at themselves and ask, why do I keep, you know, ignoring this connection? Why do I keep not acknowledging cancer's worth? What about it? What's wrong with me? And I think that they had a lot of demons that they had to deal with from their past and what they're dealing with, even from childhood. And I think that this person is ready to move past any type of instabilities, any type of issues that may have cost you and this person to move, you know, get away from it, because I feel like they're angry at themselves, if you want me to be honest. Like they're, they're, they're upset because I think for this person, they didn't react the way that they needed to react. They may have been somebody that was having flings on the side, right? They may be haunted with their decision or their indecision when it comes to you. And I feel like there's a lot of things that they wanted to say to you that they haven't necessarily even expressed. And now it's like, they're ready to take the step. They're ready to do the right thing. And I feel like they fought it for a period of time. What about this energy down here? What about this energy down here? How does, what is this person's intentions romantically with cancer? Two of cups. They want to love you. Page of cups. The moon, six of pentacles, ten of wands. I feel like this person's intentions, again, is to be very loving, be very caring, 
show you what you can be, give you a taste of what a union would be with you and them, you know, creating a level of harmony, balancing this situation out between you and them, and also trying to leave behind whatever issues were in the past. Can you give me some information on that? How does Cancer feel about the Six of Pentacles? Okay. I think that with the six, six of Pentacles here, this person wants to give you what you're giving to them. They want to balance out the situation. And I definitely think that they want to make things right. I also feel like with the Ten of Wands here, they may want to physically move in with you. Like there's a lesson here where it's like, okay, I learned my lesson. I'm ready to go. Like, let's do this. But I do feel like this person has a lot of struggles that maybe you know internally, but it's not been expressed to you yet. Okay. What I want you guys to put in the comments is um, growth, okay? Because I feel like right now, no matter if you're seeing somebody new right now, Cancer, or if it's your twin flame that, that you're having this connection with, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of emotional growth on both sides, and I feel like it's because it's stemming from you. So growth needs to be put in the comment section. All right. Um, what is uh, the best potential outcome with this newer energy or this older energy, this, this twin flame energy? What, what's the best potential outcome for cancer, this top energy? Okay. King of Wands. Somebody is very facet, fascinated, very fixated. Somebody's ready to take control. There's a lot of passion here. Leo, Cancer energy. Okay, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like here's my thing, right? There may be communication for some of you guys on what's been hidden because somebody's been living a double life. Somebody's not been exactly honest. And I think that there's something here where it's like night and day, right? Either they say you see you during the nighttime and then you don't see them during the day. Or it's like there's something about this person where you're not 100% sold. Like there's something here where you're just like, hmm, I need some time to think about this. But also I think that there is some type of clear decision that's made here on what direction you're moving forward. And I do feel like with this Mars and Capricorn energy, this three of pentacles, this is moving forward, right? It's moving past the lust. It's, it's moving past the secrets. It's coming into a level of truth. And ultimately, for me personally, I feel like that's because you had to take a step back and go within yourself and ask yourself, will, will I be happy without this person? Yeah, I can move on. Yeah, I can go date somebody else. But will I be full? Will I be emotionally full? And I don't know. I think that that's a question that you guys are going to have to um, ask yourself. What do you want me to tell Cancer about the Seven of Swords for this ultimate outcome? Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Wow. Beautiful. The Sevens are moving to the Eights, right? When you have Eights in, in a reading, that's a level of achievement. That's a level of rebirth. It's complete change, right? Um, there's a lot of growth. Remember what I said? There's growth coming here between you and this person. And I feel like it's you working on things together. I think it's communication. I think things are changing. I feel like this person is no longer going to be selfish. And I feel like they're now going to be wanting to work together as a cohesive unit. How would this make cancer feel emotionally? Seven of wands. King of Cups, one more time. How would this make Cancer want to move forward with this person romantically? The Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. What about um, this this bottom energy, this newer energy? What's, what's the best potential outcome for this person? Four of Wands, or Four of Swords, or Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Strength, and then the Empress. I think that somebody here is still holding back. <clears throat> There's something here that needs to be left behind that's not. Possibly even a Capricorn. There's a level of control. There's a level of possessiveness here. I feel like you're going to have a conversation 
about what's holding you back, what's keeping you stuck, you know, why you're unable to grow and evolve, right? There's something here about moving forward from what's having you stuck, right? Something here about your foundation is ready to grow and evolve. And I feel like you're being pushed towards growth and movement. But I feel like somebody has to let go of something. And I think that you have this conversation where now it's like, you're making a decision. Am I going to be with this person or am I going to let go? What am I going to do? There's something here about creating this level of harmony. But again, like the seven of swords, the six of swords is also like giving enough information, but not all the information. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, but I'm not going to give you all the information just in order for us to move forward. I also feel like here there's a sense of control. Somebody's very focused on you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's stalking you. And I feel like with this card, somebody may even end up pregnant. What are they holding on to? The Four of Swords. For those of you guys that read tarot, the Four of Swords and Judgment. <clears throat> For me, this is huge, right? What are they holding on to? Their truth that they've not expressed right? They've not stated something that they need to. They're holding on to their decision. They're taking time to really regroup, to really reevaluate what they want, what is best for them, what is best for everybody. And I think that they're holding on to what they've not said to you. How would cancer feel about this? How would cancer feel about this moving forward with this person? Temperance, I think that you would want to take things slow with this person because for you, it's almost like you want to make sure that this isn't something that's coming in quickly and leaving just as quickly. But I think for you guys also, it's like you want to take a pause. And that may be what's happening. A pause before there's a level of communication. Something here is going to change the way that this relationship works. And I feel like it may be a new offer of love or this person actually opening up and expressing to you how they feel. But there's some type of message that's going to come in that I feel like is going to change everything with this situation. So cancer, um, that is your reading. I love you guys. This is such a beautiful greeting with, I mean, tremendous amounts of growth. And, um, I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. It means the world to me. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.